But nobody's been pulled from the program at all. Uh, that would come from above, certainly, an NCAA or whomever. So, um, you know, I think your number one concern is, is anybody gambling on your team? You're trying to, you know, obviously avoid those kinds of things. That's, that's what the structure rule should be about. Uh, I have no knowledge of anything like that. I, I think, uh, from my vantage point, what our players are guilty of, from what I know, which is limited, uh, it could be probably players I don't think Alaska plays football, but I think there are college football players in 49 other states that could be the same person. So uh, that, that's my take on this whole thing. They're part of the program. I mean, Noah Shannon is one of our top, top guys. He's uh, just a tremendous young man, tremendous person. Um, he may or may not have violated an NCAA rule to hotel. He's not broken any laws or rules, uh, so he's first class. I think that's one of the uh, – I, I get to see that side of him, and I see how it's affected him. He feels – feels badly, you know, that he's even involved in this, and it's, I, I consider it kid stuff, but it's, it's beyond kid stuff, it's everybody's stuff, apparently. I don't gamble, so I'm, you know, I'm kind of oblivious to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, those guys are part of the team, they're going to practice. Hopefully we'll know sooner than later what the consequences, if any, are. Uh, again, my encouragement, the, I think we should ramp up our educational efforts, me personally, nationally, uh, at least I assume nationally. I know in our environment that's probably a good thing. And, reconsider the, the parameters, just like they've done with drug testing and things like that. I think it's very, very common or similar, a lot of parallels between them. So all that being said, we'll, we'll deal with whatever the results are. I'd like to know sooner than later. I have no control over that. Mike, with Bryce, regarding that kind of points per game threshold. The what? I'm sorry? Regarding that points per game threshold. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's on record, and uh, it's, it's really nothing to, to worry about. We're, we're, we're focused. We'll stay where it's been. It's, I mean, our focus is going to be on winning games playing the best we can. None of us are running from last year. We, we were not good offensively. I mean, it's, you don't have to be a, a rocket scientist to figure it out if you just look at numbers. Uh, but believe it or not, if you go back post-21, post go back to 20 on, we've had some pretty good offensive football teams. Uh, the way we're built, we do believe in defense at our place. We believe in special teams. And all three components really uh, work, work well. But if we're playing the way we need to play, it's not going to be an issue, so that, that's really where our focus is, our performance, what we can do to move forward. And I'll, I'll give you a quick trivia since you want to go down that road, or you ought to go down that road. In 21, our numbers were almost identical to 09, going back to the uh, punt block. 09, we won the, the Orange Bowl, and there weren't a lot of complaints after that season. We were all feeling pretty good. I think our fan base is pretty happy, and uh, the numbers were almost identical. So it's it's you know it's all perspective and how you look at things, and I part of my job is to look at that things and be knowledgeable of it, whether it's my time here last 24 years or even my time in 89 we were five and six we were in the rose bowl the next year so you know it's about what you're doing it's about looking forward and trying to improve and build and that's the one thing we've tried to do uh on any staff i've been on that's just how we've operated it's coach fry coach belichick coach marshall Bruin. and then these freshmen that just got on uh on campus like really the keeter mm -hmm. i mean i hate to hate to, to scare them a little bit but i see a lot of campbell in him yeah. just a long linebacker um and then Jack and Aiden, uh, they just got back from the Shrine Bowl. The Shrine Bowl is a pretty, pretty big deal in Iowa. So just getting so, some of those freshmen back in skills and drills, it's been fun watching them. Explain more about Keeter. You know, what what about what other things you know about Campbell you like? Or you uh, yeah, he's just a he's a tall kid, long. Um, I mean, I tell him I'll, I'll wrestle him. I'll wrestle him in the locker room, knowing I'll never try to do that. But uh, he, he's one of those guys who, who knows that details matter. Always trying to get better. Um, always asking what he could have did better. Um, just re he's in a position where he's really trying to learn, and I, I recognize that. Yeah, for this upcoming season, I think that you know Brian uh, Ferentz has made a lot of good changes in uh, the offense, and I, I've seen a lot of things I really like. And, you know, going out there, I, you can tell. Like, you know, I'm talking to like Nico Regani, who's been in the program for six years now. <laughs> but you know, he uh, we talk and we're just like, dang, like this is this is really good. Like, it's cool. Like, he and he, he sees that, and I think that that's the, the really cool thing. And you know, even just getting new new guys and, and guys that are coming back ready to go, I think that's the biggest thing. Is that? So you're sensing scheme changes or just kind of tweaks or what, how would you describe it? Uh, a little bit of both. A little bit of both, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Does that have something to do with Cade and the way he plays too? Does that 
make it different? Yeah, I mean, you you, you want to try to do your best. You know, as an offensive coordinator, I don't want to speak for Brian, but I'm sure that he wants to look at the guys that he has and, and go and do whatever it takes to, um, you know, help the team win, you know, in an aspect. I don't think that, you know, last year – I don't even want to – need yeah. to talk about last year at this point but you know what I'm saying yeah it was it was it was a cool honor to to have obviously you know it is a preseason though and never everybody's zero and zero nobody's played a game yet so it, it doesn't mean a whole lot I guess um but I just want to focus on you know being able to to put my best foot forward out on the field and and proving that I'm worthy of that on on the field on Saturdays yeah there's a player on the team yeah, I think um, there's a couple guys on the defensive side. Uh, Xavier Wampa, you know, he's he kind of got his feet wet a little bit in the um, in the bowl game, um, but I think he, he took a lot of steps forward this this spring. Um, and I think as well as Aaron Graves on on the defensive line, you know, he played played a lot as a freshman, um, but he plays with a lot of confidence, um, and I'm I'm looking forward. To, uh, to watching those two guys this season, I think I think they'll have, have big seasons. So you're a Big Ten tied about, but it's it's been fun to, to to have those guys around. What are you better at? Go ahead, Pat. Do you feel any pressure to live up to what you've become with all this hype, and or is that uh, something you use to your advantage? Pressure. Yeah, I mean, I like I like pressure. I I think I'm I'm just gonna keep being myself, though. Um, you know, that's. I mean, I feel like that's that's the best I can I can do. Just keep keep doing what I'm doing. Keep getting better 